What's going on guys? State Harmon the Hunter back with another video today. And today we are out here at Hirschfelden in Germany on the Hunter Classic. And today I'm gonna to be talking about why we need bird dogs and Hunter Call of the Wild. Pretty. Uh first off, Hunter Call of the Wild, I'm glad they added in the Bloodhound. That really helps tracking and stuff, but it's just not really enough anymore now that they're adding in new bird species. I mean, the pheasant and the quail, those are two awesome birds to hunt in real life, but both of them, you can't really hunt them without a bird dog. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I can't really think of any way to do it, but the way you're supposed to hunt these animals is you're supposed to have a bird dog come out and point the point the bird then you run up behind it and flush the bird up and shoot it having the dog run up and point the bird causes the bird to immediately hunker down because he doesn't want to take off running he's just going to sit there until you get too close and he's going to start flying kind of like the pheasants out here on classic so what we're going to do is I'm going to see if I can find me a pheasant here. I'll just sort of demonstrate. Thought I saw one. Sort of demonstrate how it's done and... I don't know if there's a pheasant out, here, out in this field or not. I mean... Oh, that's just a shed. I was <laughs> like, dag on. So, yeah, we're just going to send out old Snoopy here, wherever he is. Go get him, boy. Go get him. Okay. I guess we're just going to come over this knoll here. I do have a, while we're at it, this is unrelated to the video, but I do have a hog feeder right here. And I would like to see, I did bring the 300, also forgot to put a scope on it, but looking back that was pretty stupid, but we're going to sort of go that way, and if we see any pheasants along the way, we'll stop and take a shot at it. <coughs> got a root deer in the middle. Shut up over here. Oh, there's the radio. I think it sees me. I want to shoot it, but our feeder is right over the side of the hill, and I'd rather get a hog than a radio. Yes, he's seen me anyway. Oh, he's probably going to. He's probably going to speak to hogs, if there are any over there. I don't know. Let's see if we can see the speeder from over here. I could run up to it because it's far enough out in that field. They won't see me once they get up to this knoll. I will say I am going to try to do some live hunting on uh, YouTube as well. We're going down to Georgia to do a hog hunt this year, so I'm going to try to videotape that. Let me know in the comments what you guys would think about that. Oh, there we go. There's one. You didn't have to feed her though, so... Wish it would spot them real fast though, so I get an estimate on them. I just jumped something. I 
honestly, <clears throat> honestly think something just walked like ten yards beside me and just now jumped. See where that call come from. I have absolutely nothing at that feeder. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is, I think that's where that hog's headed, or... Oh, there's this pheasant. It's female. But still a pheasant, so we'll keep that in mind. Right there is our hog. Should I try to hit him with no scope on from here? I can't even see him. I think I might have run out of feed for my feeder over there, so. I'm not trying to turn this into a hog hunt video, but I would like to just go ahead and take one while I'm here. That's a good size right there. don't know anything about the scores in the game for hogs. Uh, I don't know if I've got a monster here or if it's just a... Five twenty-six. so just to be sure, I'm going to take a trophy shot with it. He just doesn't want to be a part of the picture. Alright. Now we're ready to start finding some birds. And I am not going to use the 300 on them. Just in case some of y'all were wondering. Because I know there's a few people out there that might have been thinking that. And I will say, I'll give it to the Hunter Classic. They they nailed this pretty good because, you know, you just got to let the dog work the fields. Come out here and he'll most likely find you one. something I want to get back into is goose hunting. I haven't, I used to do it on the classic all the time and then I started doing it on Call of the Wild but then they started, they're pretty bugged right now. So. Got a male pheasant, I'm going to put that marker down. I have no idea where this one, this dude's running to. By the way, I'm shut in right now, here where I live at. We just got uh, our first blizzard of the year. It's apparently supposed to be the worst in, worst in three years. So. This dude is just going around in circles, not even... I think I'm about to just jumpstart this and just... No? Maybe he'll go somewhere here. Maybe if I walk this way, he'll come with me. Carol was just saying that 
It's realistic as crap. He's literally just running around in circles doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get him off the trail and then. The only thing I don't like about. with the dogs here is the fact that once you activate him or tell him to go look for birds, it takes like, let's see, I'm going to tell him to do it again. Oh, well, okay. We well, usually, if I guess it's if you, only if you go after and kill a bird, but usually it takes like, usually it, you, they make you wait like at least 140 seconds they use them again. I just don't know why they did that, but... We're getting near where the first vocalization came from. He was up here on this bank somewhere, like right here. Oh, he's he's pointing. Right oh, is that him out there? Yeah, there he is. Got the old double barrel out today, or the over under, if you want to get technical with it. The only thing I don't like about this is the dog pointed like way too early he should have and maybe this is where the dog just needs to level up some but they usually don't aren't supposed to point until they get right up on the bird and then you walk in and flush it this is making the process a lot longer than it needs to be See where he points it at because I forgot. They've done hunker down, so I don't know where they're at. Oh, wait, yeah. I see him right over there. Okay, there we go. We got a point. I forgot how to whistle in this game. What the? Definitely let that last one go a little far. But we killed one, anyway. Jump three. I didn't realize there were three of them right there. Of course I got the only hand in the group. Oh, another thing, I'm going to, just a little channel update, <clears throat> something I'm going to start doing is I've, last year and the year before I really got into lake fishing and uh, I love catching catfish, the, the big ones, not the pond ones, and this year I'm going to try to get a setup where I can start videoing my fishing trips maybe even catch some of my fly fishing stuff because I've been fly fishing a lot too for you know native trail here in Virginia but um, you know I'd like to get 
get some of it on tape, just for entertainment purposes. All right, so our next one is down and here. I'm gonna grab this shed real fast. Because I think the dog's still on what's called cool down mode, which is what I was talking about earlier. It's kind of stupid. There it is. I was like, did this thing just disappear? See if we can get them to go after it now. Still another 55 seconds. So. <clears throat> I'm just going to get up to this rock here. And hopefully this cooldown mode should be done. Another thing I like to do outside that I've thought about videotaping that I don't but I don't really know how I would do it, is doing rabbit hunting with my beagle. Uh, love to rabbit hunt. Look forward to it all summer long to uh, get out there in the fall time and winter. Especially late winter. I don't, like right now, it's a whole lot better experience right now. But it's snowing pretty hard right now outside, so... It's not really the best time to go. But when it stops snowing, you still got that snow on the ground. It's probably the best time to go. There's our pheasant right there. We're going to get him this time. Oh, he's moving. Okay, well, oh, he's taking his own sweet time right now. I was walking, I was walking up enough to get him to lay down like that. If we're going to do this realistically, we're going to let the dog run up to it and then flush it. Gosh, I can't believe we're 18 minutes into this video. I've only killed one. Well, I've killed a hog today. So, we're going to walk up on this guy. I think I just got him. I don't know, though, because that was kind of a bad way to fly. Another thing, they definitely need to make the pointers also, yeah, there we go, yeah, I got them. They need to make it where they can, the pointers can also retrieve because, you know, when you kill a, I don't even, I think I just lost it. <laughs> is it right here? No, no, this, okay, there he is. This it, it just proves my point exactly why we need a dog that, points and retrieves, because that's what happens in real life anyway. Oh, he's still alive. Nope. Get on over here, Snoopy. You're getting in the picture this time. Also named him after my real life hunting dog, so every time I'm sitting here saying Snoopy, he's my dog in the background whining. So. There we go. Well, I think that's going to about wrap it up for this video. You know, pretty much, pretty much hit on everything I plan to hit on here. Definitely, just uh, need need bird dogs uh, for sure in Hunter Call of the Wild. Also, would like to see them <clears throat> have a function where they also retrieve at the same time. So well, that's going to do it for this one. Uh, I don't really know what to say in this, so...
We'll see you later.